thank you for purchasing our wall mount basketball hoop. This video will walk you step by step through the installation process of your Gladiator Hoops wall mount adjustable basketball system. This video is not a replacement for the installation manual you receive, but will serve as a supplemental resource. If you have any problems with your wall mount basketball hoop system, please contact us at gladiatorhoops.com or contact the location where you purchase the product. Before we start, let's cover some important safety instructions. Failure to follow these safety instructions may result in property damage or serious injury. Do not install this product unless you have read the instruction manual. If any part of the manual is not clear, please consult with Gladiator Hoops before beginning installation. Familiarize yourself with all parts of the backboard system before installation takes place. Make sure there is proper backing in the wall before the hoop is installed. We will cover this in a moment. If a ladder is being used during installation, use extreme caution. Installation and assembly of this product requires lifting and bending that can result in injury if you're not accustomed to this type of lifting. For a safe assembly, two or three people who can lift 100 pounds each are recommended. Climate, corrosion, and misuse could result in system failure. Do not hang on any part of the hoop. This includes rim, arms, arm supports, wall plate, net, or any other component. When actively playing, keep your face away from the rim, backboard, net, or anything that could cause injury to teeth, face, or body. Remove all jewelry or loose items that could get entangled in the net or any other part of the hoop. Check the hoop regularly for loose hardware or corrosion. Never play on damaged equipment. Before we begin the installation, we need to ensure the backing is prepared to properly secure the backboard system. First, locate the center of the wall where the hoop is going to be installed. From the floor, measure 88 inches and 120 inches. Fill this area in with 2 inch by 10 inch or 2 inch by 12 inch wood. The basketball bracket is 20 inches wide. Make sure there is proper backing in all stud cavities that are in this area. It is important to know that the hardware to mount the wall plate to the wall is not included. For sheetrock walls with proper backing, we suggest 14 half-inch lag bolts. For concrete walls, we suggest 14 half-inch concrete anchors. In this video, we will be installing the system on a sheetrock wall. It is very important to note that your stud scenario may vary. In this video, we will be installing model number GHA360. These instructions will also apply to the following model numbers on the screen. Our fixed backboard will have different instructions, so please refer to that manual for the proper install steps. Once the proper backing has been prepared, you can begin the installation process. Here's a list of the required tools. A level, a tape measure, a Phillips head screwdriver, 3 fourths, half inch, and 5 eighth inch sockets, a safe sturdy platform or ladder to stand on. In this video, we'll be using scaffolding and an impact drill. Safely carry the box with the base frame and related components and place it in your work area. We recommend laying out all of the components for easy access. Safely move your platform in place to begin installation. Once you have determined where you will install your wall mount adjustable hoop and your wall backing is in place, measure 88 inches from the floor to where the bottom of the base frame will be located. You will need to make sure that the base frame is level both vertically and horizontally. We recommend using two people for this portion. Carefully line the base frame up on the wall using a level to make sure you have proper alignment. Begin to secure the base frame with the appropriate hardware for your mounting surface. In this example, we'll be using 14 half inch by four inch lag bolts to mount it to our sheetrock wall. As a reminder, this mounting hardware is a separate purchase. If you are securing this to a concrete surface, 
we recommend using 14 half inch by four and three fourths inch expansion bolts. These bolts are included. Now that your base frame is securely in place, you can attach the two lower support arms and the two actuator support plates to the base frame. Secure the lower support arms. The round steel tubing should be on the inside. Do this with the two 5 8 inch by 4 and 5 16 inch hex bolts. At this time, slide on the actuator support plate using the lower hole position. Then install the included flat washers and lock nut. Be sure to firmly tighten the bolts. Now secure the upper actuator support plates to the base frame tabs on the outside. Do this using the two 5 8 inch by 1 and 3 8 inch hex bolts. Then install the included flat washers and lock nut. Again, be sure to firmly tighten the bolts. As an important note, the actuator plates should be vertical and not angled. Now we will attach the upper support arm to the base frame. We recommend two people for this setup. Secure the arm with the 5 8 inch by 10 and 3 16 inch hex bolt and install the included flat washers and lock nut. Be sure to firmly tighten the bolts. Now we can attach the actuator to the upper support arm. Do this with the 5 8 inch by 2 and 3 16 inch hex bolt. Then install the included flat washers and lock nut. Now attach the actuator to the actuator support plates. Do this with the 5 8 inch by 4 and 5 16 inch hex bolt. Then install the included flat washers and lock nut. Again, be sure to firmly tighten the bolts. Now that the base plate, support arms, and actuator are securely installed, we can unbox the backboard and rubber cushion. Set the rubber cushion aside for step six. The backboard is very heavy, so we suggest having a third person to assist in lifting it up on the platform. Once the backboard has been safely lifted and is held in place, attach it to the upper support arm using the two 9 16 inch by one in 9 16 inch hex bolts. Then install the flat washers and lock nut. As an important note, the backboard tabs are on the outside and the upper support arm tabs are on the inside. Next, we will secure the backboard to the lower support arms. To make this more readily accessible, we suggest using the removable hand crank to carefully raise the backboard up, then move the platform out of the way as long as you can safely reach the lower support arms from a standing position. Now using the 5 8 inch by 10 and a quarter inch hex bolt along with the flat washers and lock nut, you can secure the backboard to the lower support arms. With the backboard secured, we can unbox and install the rim. We recommend two people for this step. First, we suggest lining up the rubber cushion with the mounting plate on the rim and placing at least one bolt and washer in place to maintain alignment. With the rubber cushion between the rim and the backboard, use the four 3 8 inch by two inch hex bolts along with the flat washers, the spring washer, and hex nut to connect the rim and the backboard together. Be sure to use a level as you secure the bolts to make sure that the rim is in proper alignment. Once the rim has been leveled and secured, you can install the cover plate using the two screws provided. Our last step is to carefully place the height indicator stickers to the inner tube of the actuator. We recommend two people for this step. One person can hold a tape measure while the other uses the hand crank to crank the rim to the proper height to apply the stickers. Start with the lowest height indicator first and move your way to the tallest setting. In this scenario, we would start with the six foot indicator. Once that sticker is carefully applied, crank the rim to seven feet, then repeat this process until all height indicator stickers have been carefully applied. An important note regarding the hand crank, 
For your convenience, we designed this to be fast and easy to remove, so you can set it aside until it's needed. That completes the installation process. Now comes the fun part. Enjoy your game, and if you have any questions at all, visit us at gladiatorhoops.com.